Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Mel Holistic. I am Mel. Today we are going to do some yoga stretches on the bed instead of on the yoga mat. The reason is because, look, I have accidentally fell down from the bicycle as I was cycling a few days ago and I have some bruises on my knee and around my left foot as well as on my left thigh and the side of my right knee. So instead of doing yoga on the mat, I've decided to do it on the bed which I think is perfect because everybody will sleep on a bed and before you sleep or when you wake up from your sleep, you can easily do these stretches and it's so convenient, you don't even need to set up a yoga mat. And if you want to, you can just get ready a yoga belt. If you don't have one, it's okay. You can just use an old towel or an old t-shirt to aid in some of the stretches and Let's get going and let's do some stretches! And let's get the class started. So first, let's come into child's pose. Alright, so I have a little problem, you know, with my left knee. So I may not be able to do a very comfy child's pose. As I need to be careful of my wound. So you can come into your child's pose. Ouch. Okay, I just have to be very careful here. And just, you can keep your knees apart or knees together. Alright, I'll just have to be very careful with my left leg. So I'm putting more weight to my right, right now. Now some of you may have difficulties to ground your hips on your heels. It's okay. All you need to do is, if you are floating in here, you can always place a pillow. You can always place a pillow between your heel and your hips for support in this manner. So in child pose, essentially, you want to lengthen our back right, for a good stretch in the morning or before we sleep. Right, it will help to relieve, it will help to relieve any stiffness in your back. Alright, and we're coming out of child's pose. Now, can you come to sit with cross-legged? We're going to do some side stretches for our oblique. So, I'm a mirror reflection. You will bend over to your right side. So, right hand on your right side and left hand up, bending over to your side. Now, if you can, your right elbow to place it on the bed. Now, if you can't, it's okay. You can just lift up your elbow. Right. Most importantly is that your chest is not hunched, but it's open up, shining up to the sky. And lengthen your left arm to your right side. And continue to breathe in and out. We want our breath to help us with our stretches. And we switch sides now. Left hand walking out through your side. Excuse me. <coughs> Missing a little cough here myself. And lengthen out your left hand up. Closer towards the side. Now feel the opening of your right oblique this time round. Breathing in and out. Shining your chest to the sky. Looking up towards the ceiling. And coming back. Good. Now we interlock our fingers together. Inhale and push our hand up. Shining our palms towards the sky. Look up, chin up, shoulders away from your ears, opening up your chest, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Try to pull your biceps behind your ears as much as you can. Continue to breathe in. And out. Good. Now release your hands as you exhale. Now I'm going to show you the side profile, so you need to interlock your fingers together behind your back, squeeze your shoulder blades, roll your shoulders out, and try to squeeze your shoulder blades as close together as possible, arms together if you can, but if you can't, you can keep it separated, it's fine, and just look up towards the ceiling as you ground your knuckles into the bed. Alright, so knuckles on the bed as you shine your chest to the sky 
look up towards the ceiling, you should feel the opening of your chest and the front of your body, squeezing of your shoulder blades, opening up your body more. Deep inhalation and slow exhalation. Very good. And we release from the pose. Good. Now some hip opening. So we're going to do the pigeon pose. So now swing the left leg behind and your right knee is still in front. Now I just need to be careful of my wound. Now if you want, you can pull your right heel closer towards your left inner thigh and try to straighten out your left leg. So now we are in pigeon pose. Now you can choose to stay here or you can slowly walk your elbows and palms forward to rest. All right, or if you can, just lay down your whole body onto the bed. Now this is going to be a very comfortable. Now this is going to be a very comfortable pose because you're going to feel the stretch of your right glutes and opening of your right hip. Now if you have difficulties laying down onto the bed, you can always use a pillow to help you by resting your upper body on the pillow. Alright, so you can stay for as long as you want or you can follow my pace to do in this yoga class and just rest for a moment here, continue to inhale and exhale. Good, now we are coming back up, we are going to switch legs. So first curl your left toes. Okay, I got to be very careful with my foot. Okay, now we switch legs. Left knee, forward and bent. Alright, and right knee straight this time round. Okay, so now if you want to, you can place your left heel closer towards your right inner thigh. I can't bend so much because my left knee injury might hurt. And again, slowly lower your body down into Pigeon Pose. And enjoy the stretch in your left glutes, the opening of your left hip. Feel the sensation going through your hip area. As you enjoy the pose and pigeon pose with deep inhalation and slow exhalation. One more breath in, one breath out. Good, and we are slowly coming back. Now, can you lift up your right knee and slowly land both of your feet? down we're coming into spins pose so elbows stacked below your shoulders all right now squeeze your glutes together squeeze your shoulder blades together opening up your chest you should feel that there is some engagement and squeezing action in your lower back now spins pose can really help to release any back pain back stiffness. Alright, so you can do it every morning when you wake up or just before you sleep. So at this moment, I'm still squeezing my glutes together. Alright, and squeezing my back muscles together, opening up my chest. It is a very good chest and heart opener. And I'm squeezing my shoulder blades. My shoulders are away from my ears. Literally just enjoying this speed pose. And if you want more challenge, if you want more intensity, you can straighten out your elbows into seal pose. Alright, so this is a more intense feeling, especially for your lower back. And if you feel any sharp pain in your lower back, release from seal pose and go back to spin pose once more. So at this point in time, I am still squeezing my glutes. My legs are lengthened, my shoulders are away from my ears. My chest and heart is opened in this pose. And 
going through deep inhalation and slow exhalation. Till then we slowly release from the pose. Okay, now giving a quad some stretch, can bending both knees. All right, so now I have, you know, I can't bend too much on my left knee. So just focus on my right knee and try to bend your knee as much as you can, feeling the stretch in your quads. So your heels are technically very near to your glutes, uh, right beside your glutes. So feel the stretch in your quads. Now this is especially good for cyclists and runners because in, when you engage in those activities, your quads tend to get tight and stiff and get shortened. So through this quad stretch, you help to loosen up the stiffness and ensure that your muscles don't get shortened over time. All right, so this is really a good stretch for cyclists and runners especially. Just one more breath in. One breath out. Good. Now coming into bow pose. So now your hands can grab onto your ankles or your shin. As it inhale, lift your body up and your leg up. Now if you can, big toes touch each other. If not, you can keep it separated. Any lower back pain, flex your ankles. Alright, if not, you can point your toes and big toes touch as much as you can. Squeezing your glutes, engaging your back muscles. Try to lift it up higher. Deep inhalation, slow exhalation, and we release from the pose. Very, very good. All right, now we turn over. All right, this time around, you may need the belt to help you out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do our hamstring stretch. All right, so if we can, keeping left knee straight and lift up your right leg up. So 90 degrees first. All right, see if you can grab onto your calf. All right, now see if you can lower your legs further down and grab onto your right ankle. Now, if you have difficulties doing so, don't worry. We have our belt to help you out. So just grab onto the belt and slowly lower your leg closer towards your face. You can hold on to the belt. You have an old t-shirt that you can use or an old towel you can use. So not necessarily have to be a yoga belt. So just we use free purpose any materials that you have at home that you can find. Good. Alright, but if you don't need to, you can just grab onto any part of your leg. Right leg, big toe also can. And just feel the stretch in your right hamstring. Alright, so you might feel especially stiff early in the morning, right, after a whole night of sleep. So, no stress, alright? This is really just to relieve the tension from our hamstring. If you want to, you can lift up your head and see if your head can go close towards your right knee. And we slowly release right leg down. Good. Now we are going to balance up and continue on with our left leg. Lifting it up 90 degrees first. Grabbing on to your calf, your shin. Good. And now try to pull your left leg closer. Again, you can use the belt to help you out. Right, if you can't hook, alright, so I'll demonstrate again. If you can't hook the belt over your left foot, you can simply bend your knee, alright? So, for beginners, just listen to your body. Even if you're intermediate or advanced, listen to your body. Don't force, because everybody's flexibility is different. And what we really want to achieve here is to really just enjoy the stretch, enjoy the class at your own pace. And you don't have to compare with anybody. You're just on your own right now. And continue to inhale. Now, whenever you inhale, try to relax your body. And as you exhale, try to pull your leg closer towards your face. And squeeze your thigh muscles so that your hamstring will relax. And you can 
stretch more. Alright, so just one more breath in. And see if you can lift your head up closer towards the knee. And as we exhale, we release our hand and leg. Good. So just shake out your ankles a little bit here, your toes. And just relax for a moment here. Good. All right. Now come to sit. And let us come into a butterfly pose. So just separate our knees but feet together. Good. All right. Now, as you are in butterfly pose, some of you may realize that your knees are high up. It's okay. Because it could be due to your hip skeletal structure or that you are not flexible yet. So, don't worry. So, just wherever you are, just listen to your body. Do a little flapping. Right, to loosen up any tightness in your uh, inner thigh. And just stay for a moment here. Good. Now, if you want to, you can walk your palms forward and just relax. Alright, forehead can be on the bed. Or if you can't and you need some support, again, use our pillow. Place it in front of you and just rest your body on the pillow. But if you don't require, you can remove the pillow and follow me. Rest your head on the bed. And slowly look up, walk your palms back. Good. Now coming to middle split. But let's not do two legs. We'll just do half middle split. Alright, so maybe I'll do my left side, which is your right leg. As I'm your mirror reflection. Alright, so open up as wide as you can. No stress. Alright, so just try to reach over to your left side. Now, when you are slowly bending over to your right, you will realize that inner time muscles tend to be very stiff, especially in the morning when you just wake up. So don't worry, it's normal. Alright, so let's just do a little bit of movement here, up and down. Very small and light movement. Alright. So just give your inner thigh a little bit warm up, a little bit stretch slowly, slowly. Inhale, you come up. Exhale, you bend forward or bend by the side. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend again. So you realize that with every inhale, and exhalation, you can bend deeper and lower. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, going down once more. Good, and we switch legs. Right, so, gotta be careful of my left leg injury. Okay, so let me just shift myself a little bit. Alright, so again, inhale up, inhale body up, exhale bend over to the side, and up, inhale up, exhale down, and one more time, continue on. Alright, you can follow my pace or you can always do it at your own pace. Alright, whichever is comfortable for you. Alright, so you should feel your left inner thigh slowly, slowly loosening up as you do this exercise. And continue to stretch as you exhale. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, stretching further down. Good. One last time. I didn't count how many times I did on the other side, but estimation. And inhale up. Good. Alright, now we'll separate both of our legs into middle split. Now you can skip this if you 
don't feel comfortable doing it early in the morning or before you go to bed but if you want a little bit challenge let's follow me okay so now let's bend over to the right side first raise up your hand if you can and try to grab onto your foot good and we switch sides and grab onto your left now when we're doing yoga on the feet, realize that you will feel less pain as compared on the yoga mat. That's because the bed is softer and at certain parts, our body tends to sink into the bed more. So, and there's more support. So you feel less pain when you do on the bed itself. So it's actually more comfortable. So I personally enjoy doing yoga on the bed and that's why I want to, you know, share some sequences with you that you can follow me to do. If you enjoy this, just write in the comments. I will do more of such yoga on bed series. And let's move over to our left side again. I really enjoy doing this and hopefully you enjoy it as much as I do. And good, coming up. All right, now let's close our legs together. Shall we do a forward fold? Okay, so let me just give the camera some space here. Okay, so now you realize that you may be hunching your back a little bit here, which is quite normal because the bed is softer than on a yoga mat. So what you need to do is try to, you know, just sit up taller, pulling your glutes back more. Sit up taller, inhale, hands up. Exhale, bending forward. Now, whichever you know, degree that you can reach it's up to you everybody's body is different so listen to your body if you find that it is very tough for you and your hamstrings are very tight you can always bend your knees slightly all right so it is essential that you don't round your back like this but i need i need you to lengthen your back as much as you can if you need to lengthen your back and sacrifice your knees by bending Go ahead and bend your knees. I need you to lengthen your back. All right, so only when over time your flexibility improves, you can straighten your knees forward more. And just enjoy the forward fold. Inhale and exhale. One more breath in. One breath up and good, slowly coming up. How are you feeling? All good? Okay, now let's just come to relax. Lie down on the bed. How long have we done? Okay, good. So let's just lie down on the bed, relax for a moment. We are coming into fish pose. So in fish pose, you can use the pillow to help you. Alright, so I'll demonstrate with the pillow first. So just place the pillow at your back and you can lean over your pillow. Now place the crown of your head on the bed. So now you're looking backwards. Okay, good. Now if you want more intensity, you can place two pillows instead of one. So here you go, two pillows. So now the height is higher, you have more arch on your back, right? And now, same. So you can see there's more arch on my back. I can open up my body and chest and heart more and feel more intensity on my back. All right, so you can stay here with the pillow to support you or you can actually remove the pillow. Okay, let me just remove the pillow. So, and just lay without the pillow in fish pose. Now, if you want, you can place your hands up as well, or your legs up. But with your legs up, you're basically engaging your core, your thigh muscles, your abdominal muscles, right? Abdominal, the thigh. Okay, so whichever is comfortable for you. If you're shaking, it's good. It means you're engaging. Slowly release your legs, keeping your hands up if you want to, or hands down. Also, okay. 
and slowly release from the pose. And let's come to Shavasana and just relax for a moment. Closing your eyes, let your whole body sink into the bed. I hope you don't fall asleep because if you're trying to wake up, <laughs> if it's a morning yoga stretch for you, you don't want to be falling back into sleep. But if you're doing this at night, perfect for you to fall asleep and relax your whole body. Hopefully this stretch, you can feel that your whole body is open up and you feel good, feel rejuvenated, and that you feel calm and positive to what's coming ahead of you for the day or the night. Knowing that you have done your whole body well through this yoga stretch class, and now as you awaken our senses, wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingertips, stretch your hands over the head, giving your body a good stretch in the opposite direction. Good, now hugging your knees to your chest, turning over to your right side, resting for a moment here. Now press your left hand into the bed, and slowly come to sit. You can keep your eyes closed. And as we inhale, raise your hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands down, pushing all negative air, negative thoughts out of your body. Inhale, hands up. Attracting positive thoughts and energy to your body. Exhale, hands down. One last time, inhale. Exhale, hands down. Your palms together in front of your heart center. Thank you for joining me in today's class. I hope you really enjoyed it as much as I do. And continue to practice more yoga. It will benefit you. And once you're ready, gently bow to yourself. You must stay and open up your eyes. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe to me because your support will help me to generate more good videos for you in future. Do give me a thumbs up like and write in the comments what do you like about it and what other videos you would like me to do from you. Remember to also check out more other videos that I have for you. And I'll see you around in my next video.